you here? What's the anger? Like, no, Vent your anger on me on the camera. Yeah, funded for school. <laughs> funded by the government. By the government. Yes, not so, taking out of our budgets. Right. So why is funding an issue? Are you not getting paid enough? It's not. It's not. All to do with no money for the schools. For the schools. You can't educate people without the government giving them money. But with no roof and no heating. No roof, no heating. It's very hard to teach children. The with school no that these people teach at, these, these teachers are teaching at, is, has got inadequate services. Everything's inadequate. That's why everyone's here. Yeah. So it's not only about pay, but the mainstream media is saying it's about pay. Well, only the mainstream about pay. media may well say that. But yeah. It's not about pay. Okay. It's not all about pay. There's, there's well, very little budget. There's very little budget in schools. There's, the, uh, the pay increases they do want to offer are all taken out of the budget that's already there, so that will make reduce the amount of TAs that we've got in schools. Right, and TAs are important, especially what yeah, teaching assistants. Children aren't getting the education they deserve. We talk about the government, Gillian Keegan, talk, Keegan talking about the future generation. There won't, there won't be a future generation if there no, are no resources to fund these, the children's learning. So forget the, the next scientists, the next doctors. There won't be any because there are no school resources. Uh, I'm Zoe and I'm a maths teacher, secondary. And I'm Michael and I'm a drama teacher. Why are you protesting? I'm striking because I think it's important that education is fully funded and that we end up with guys who really put me off. <laughs> That's good, that's good. Go good. Go. Um, good start, good start. Yeah, go okay. uh, the, the reason I'm here is the same reason that most people are here, and that's because essentially what's happening is the money that the country holds in its purse is going to 1% of the population, who are now the super rich, and everyone else is being left behind. Our G7 status in Europe is diminishing by the day, post-Brexit. We're not raising taxes, so we can't afford the welfare, the care, the health, the education that people need. And we're in a crisis, and the government doesn't seem to care. So what do you think is the solution at the moment for this crisis? Fully funded pay rise to help with retention and recruitment so that teachers are you know, prepared to stay in a really difficult job where we are basically funding and sorting out the economy for the future. So what do you, what do you mean about retention? We've got a really big problem with retention. We have lots and lots of um, newly qualified staff, even you know, experienced staff that want to leave the profession now because the workload is so high. Um, we've got loads of different things going on. Yeah, go on. yeah there's, there's an exodus out of education at the moment and that is uh, in part going into other professions but also going into the private sector. People are leaving because they think they're going to be better paid and better looked after in the private sector, which is all, of course, part of the government's initiative. Like with the NHS, like the other public sector services, even lawyers, we've got legal aid, underpaid, people leaving their profession. So until we decide that the government wants to care about the community and the people who live in the country, we will continue having to go on strike and we lose money. It's not anything anyone wants to be doing. Every, every teacher who's on strike will be losing money. Uh, we are breaching our contracts so that we're not entitled to be paid. Losing their day's pay. Uh, yeah. 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 Do you want to comment? No, absolutely. That? Okay, so, so tell me what you're saying. What he's saying, yeah. he's saying he's off to a private school to make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but you also think that the privatisation of schools it's got to do with the workload of bring of me in, company. bring yeah, me yeah, in, yeah, right. and academies. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so clearly, when you've got a divisive system where some people can pay for an education and most people don't, and those who pay direct to the school and the teachers uh, have a cultural inheritance of expectation that their kids will be better than the others. That inequity is what's being propagated. And again, we only have to look at all those people who are running our country. That's the system they came through. So they perpetuate that system to feed themselves and leave everyone else behind. The ideal 
would be to get rid of the private sector completely and have the aspirations of those parents met through the public state system. Um, compared to the other G7 countries, compared to some of the Scandinavian uh, countries, we pay significantly lower taxes. Uh, and some people see that as a positive and a benefit, that their contribution to the state is lower. Ultimately, that means we don't have the money to pay for the doctors, the nurses, the legal aid and the teachers. So we're here because our taxes are low. Our taxes are low, and, and are, are we not taxing the rich, the people who got more money? No. What a leading question that was. It, we all know the level of corruption that is going on at a state level. We all know that those people at the top are filling their own pockets with the assets of the country, and we also know that most of them keep those assets outside the country. So they're investing wherever they want in tax havens with their millions and billions, whilst people in this country are starving. So what's the impact? Is that what you wanted to yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I'm not answering that's that one. That's what you asked for, wasn't it? That's a good... That's a good that was what you wanted. That. <laughs> so, so well, that's where I was led. Yeah. Yeah. One more question and we're going to do it in the bar. That's the truth. That's what's happening, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and there isn't anyone here who doesn't know it. No. And so the irony of the situation we're in... Yeah. Are we yeah. on again? Yeah, go on, go on. So go the on. irony of the situation we're in is everybody knows what's going on. But we, at the moment, are powerless to do anything about it. So the limited power that we have right now is to withdraw our labour. And it's nothing that we want to be doing. But how is that affecting you guys as a teacher and also the people? The it is because we don't have enough funding to do exactly what we'd like to do as part of the curriculum. We don't even have subject specialists teaching the subjects that they should anymore. You've got music teachers or you've got PE staff that are teaching maths as a core subject. Um, you know, we can't do what we want to do because we're so limited with the funding that we're offered. The workload's really, really high. We've got lots of admin to do that are outside of directed time. Directed time is sort of like an abstract concept because we don't have that in teaching. Whereas lots of people have nine to five working jobs. We might be there from seven in the morning until seven in the evening. Um, we're spending time um, marking books, giving feedback to students, calling parents. I mean, the list is endless. Um, and the workload doesn't seem to stop. Schools aren't able to limit it um, because we've got offset on our backs and all those sorts of things that just keep on adding to it. You need more funding because if you have more funding, you are building your recruitment. Um, you are enabling, you know, those who would normally walk into the, you know, into the private sector that would now enter into teaching. You need to, you know, make it an incentive for support staff by having a pay that can actually help them live. Um, because at the moment, the, the the salary for a support staff is terrible, and so none of them are ever going to take part in any of it. No one wants to be striking. Everyone would like to be back in work, being with the students, with the ones that matter in terms of building an economy for the future. We need to make sure that we have more funding. Without the funding, this education system is just going to you know, fall to the ground. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you.